acceptance sampling. We all know that a sample of product is used to determine acceptability. In this lesson, we will learn about acceptance sampling, acceptance sampling plan, OC curve, and producer and consumer risk. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss acceptance sampling, describe acceptance sampling plan, explain OC curve, describe producers and consumer risk. Acceptance sampling is the middle of the road approach between no inspection and 100% inspection. It is a technique where decisions to accept or reject products or services are taken on the basis of sampling inspection. It provides only an indirect means for quality improvement. Acceptance sampling is frequently used as a method of reactive quality assurance. It eliminates the time and labor associated with performing 100% inspections on lots of products that are produced or received. Acceptance sampling is often used where the cost of missing a defective product is relatively low. Large lots are present and inspectors become complacent. There is a fast production rate or inspection demands destructive inspection. Acceptance sampling is a quality assurance technique used for inspecting incoming material and outgoing or finished products. Acceptance sampling will require the selection of a sampling plan. Sampling plans are used to make product disposition decisions. A sampling plan will determine the size of a sample and the number of defectives permitted in the sample top determines the acceptance or rejection of the population. Acceptance control charts are acceptance sampling plans that are converted into chart form from implementation. The control limits for the acceptance control chart are computed using the specification limits and the standard deviation of what is being monitored. Acceptance charts provide a valid visible means for making acceptance sampling decisions. Sampling plans are used to make product disposition decisions. They decide which lots of products to accept and release and which lots to reject and either rework or discard. The sampling risks should be quantified. OC curve. The producer should have adequate protection against rejection of good lots and the consumer should be protected against acceptance of bad lots. The measurement required by the plans should prove to be useful in estimating individual lot quantity and long-term requirements. Selecting a statistically valid sampling plan requires stating the objective of the inspection. Selecting the appropriate AQL and LTPD and then choosing a sampling plan that provides the desired protection. SPC does not eliminate the need for acceptance sampling. Acceptance sampling will become unnecessary. In an ideal situation with SPC in place, no defectives will ever be made. The operating characteristic OC curve describes the probability of accepting a lot as a function of the lot's quality. Figure shows the OC curve of the single sampling plan with sample size N equals to 50 and acceptance number A equals to 1. The bottom axis gives different process percent defectives. The left axis gives the corresponding probability of acceptance. For example, find 3% on the bottom axis. Then draw a line up to the curve and then across the left axis. The corresponding probability of acceptance is 0.56. Likewise, the probability of accepting 1% defective lots is 0.91 and the probability of accepting 7% defective lots is 0.13. OC curves are generally summarized by two numbers. The acceptable quality level AQL and lot tolerance percent defective LTPD. The AQL is that percent defective with a 95% chance of acceptance. From figure 2, the AQL is 0.72% defective. 
At the AQL, 95% of the lots are accepted. The LTPD is that percent defective with a 10% chance of acceptance. Its value is 7.6%. At the LTPD, 90% of the lots are rejected. What protection does the single sampling plan N equals to 50 and A equals to 1 provide? Since sampling plans make accept or reject decisions, this question is best answered in terms of what the sampling plan accepts and what it rejects. The AQL describes what a sampling plan will accept. Lots at or below 0.72% defective are routinely accepted. Routinely in this case means at least 95% of the time. The LTPD describes what the sampling plan rejects. Lots at or above 7.6% defective are routinely rejected. Routinely in this case means at least 90% of the time. Lots between the AQL and LTPD are sometimes accepted and sometimes rejected. Producer risk is most simply described as the risk associated that after performing an acceptance sample on a lot, a producer determines that a lot has an unacceptable number of defects and the lot must be subjected to complete inspection. When, in reality, the sample has a larger percentage of defects than the actual lot does. Consumer risk is the risk associated as a consumer of a product that after performing acceptance sampling, you determine that the lot has an acceptable number of defects. But, in reality, the lot has a percentage of defects above the acceptable level, more than the sample you took does. Consumer and producer risk are just two elements of the many sampling measures for ensuring quality that are becoming even more recognized in firms. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Quality management can be implemented incrementally or through an intensive program, but a good plan is essential. Right or wrong? Right. In the binomial distribution, there are three possible outcomes. Right or wrong? Wrong. Acceptance charts provide a valid visible means for making acceptance sampling decisions. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. Acceptance sampling is a quality assurance technique used for inspecting incoming material and outgoing of finished products. Acceptance control charts are acceptance sampling plans that are converted into chart form for implementation. A double sampling procedure means that if the sample taken from the batch is not informative enough, another sample is taken. Sampling plans are used to make product disposition decisions. The operating characteristic OC curve describes the probability of accepting a lot as a function of the lot's quality. The decision based on counting the number of defectives in a sample can be to accept the lot, reject the lot or even for multiple or sequential sampling schemes to take another sample and then repeat the decision process.